Welcome back, everybody. And the Arpeggio plays. This is great. The crystals, they're glowing. Maybe we'll receive their power? This has already happened once, Bartz. Do you really think that's not going to happen? So now we're going to go claim them. The spirits of these brave warriors rest in these shards. I'm not reading that the rest of the time. Time mage. <clears throat> blah, 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 blah. Berserker. Blah, 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 blah. Red mage. Blah, 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 blah. Summoner. Yeah, you get summoner fairly early on, guys. Blah, 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 blah. Sorcerer. Hmm, well, that's interesting. What's a sorcerer? Now what? The tower's sinking? I'm gonna get a comment and eventually he's like, I didn't realize a woman would sound like Jeffrey Rush. I'm not even trying. And it's, it's kind of coming out like that, Barbosa. Now, unfortunately, you actually cannot get that shard. Try as you might. You will come back to it later, I believe. <clears throat> but we'll, we'll get to that point when we get there. Uh, so first of all, apologies for this coming in so late because it's just been a busy freaking week. Ah! Hydra! Wait, I thought you were dead. Hey, hey, not not cool, dude. Don't don't eat us. Hydra, you're alive. Oh no, we gotta grab Reyna. <clears throat> All to walk into Hydra's mouth. Well, Hydra's at his dinner. His or her. I don't think we ever knew. Oh, he dropped us off on the beach. Hydra. Hydra gave his last ounce of strength to help us. Oh, crap. No! Hydra, you can't die! We're having an, an old yeller moment here. Oh, that's so sad. Hydra, thank you. Hydra! Oh, Bye, Hydra. <laughs> and just to put the sadness in even more, we had to have that sound go off again. Alright, well, there you go. So, now we are actually done with the water crystal. We now have the new shards. <clears throat> Um, there is some aftermath that we'll go into, but again, I apologize for this coming in so late. Um, we've been doing a lot of preparation over here, and also with the fact that WoW had an expansion announcement and I launched a whole new series on the channel, things got delayed a little bit. Thankfully, though, the, the new series is not a regular thing, so it's not going to delay me horribly. Uh, it's just going to be when, when I feel the need to do it. So to the people who are expecting like a weekly rant and a weekly rave, that's, that's not happening. Um, it's basically when I want to do it because <clears throat> sometimes I just can't even justify it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. It's allergy season guys. So the other thing also is that, uh, there may also be another series. I'm not sure if it's going to launch on the channel or not, but I am kind of bouncing the idea in my head. But that's why things are delayed. So thankfully, I was able to get to this and, and actually get a recording done. I hopefully will be able to get the next or this week's done. But uh, this is actually the week when my baby is about to be born. So if you guys have not heard that news, uh, things might become a little delayed on on both this channel and Dragon Shadow. Thankfully, though, Geek News fans will not be interrupted. Um, we have already worked that out. So you guys are getting an episode this Saturday. Oh, and it's King Walls. I should have listened to you. <laughs> King Walls. Are you alright? Idiot. Only to Karnak. 
They, lo they also use a machine to amplify their crystal's power. A meteorite also fell there. Hurry, before it's too late. <laughs> All right, so that's basically our e our cookie, uh, our little breadcrumb to go to Karnak. <clears throat> but how do we go to Karnak? <clears throat> Excuse me. I will stop clearing my throat eventually, I promise. Um, it's mainly because of all the stuff I've been doing. So, what you actually have to do is if people remember um, when he said that Walls hasn't had a meteorite, but Karnak also had one fall uh, in a similar place, that's kind of a hint as to what you need to do. So... I believe we actually have to look for where the Wall's Meteor was. I might be wrong on that. Oh, no. We're going to go for the Tycoon Meteor. Um, so, believe it or not, these, these Meteors are actually connected in a way. So, we can actually use them as teleport points. There it is. But since we can't fly over mountains... <clears throat> Oh, actually, do you want to know what we're doing? So, if you, you, there's actually a little bit of bonus content that you can do after you get the dragon. You can go back to Tycoon Castle, and there actually is an item waiting here. Thank heavens, you're safe! And and we just get a little bit more of, of plot with uh, Reyna. And also a little bit of Faris. In case you hadn't gotten that hint yet. Oh! Princess Reyna! I'm sorry to have worried everyone. You must return to the palace! The battle with the monsters took most of our best soldiers. With you here, we finally, I don't know, we finally have something. We finally can begin to rebuild. But I must leave again. Then what will become of the kingdom? Not only this kingdom, but the entire world is in danger. Father is alive. <clears throat> I see. We will defend the kingdom while you're gone. Of course you will. I promise I will return with the king. At least you'll stay here tonight, won't you? Certainly. And with this, you actually get to have a really touching moment. It's just these little nuggets here and there that, that make you kind of want to like Five. Um, I'm, I'm not in that camp, but I do appreciate these little Easter eggs of knowledge that they, they throw in here and there. <clears throat> but this is optional. You can totally go through the game without doing it. Varus. Reyna. Sister? Shiver me timbers! Well, that woke up the whole castle. You are my older sister, aren't you? Nay, I... I... Uh, uh, um. But... A buccaneer like me? A princess? Tiar, <laughs> Tis a hearty laugh, that one. But your pendant. Oh, well, it gets even better when you actually find out the, her actual name, her prince, her princess name. Barts, Barts. <laughs> hey. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Some kind of weirdo or something? Basically, it sounds like he slept in. Okay, so now that we've actually uh, spent the night there, uh, we actually get access to a whole new item as long as we can find it which is in the Royal Treasury. 
But in the meantime, we're going to loot the castle. Chancellor's outside. He said he had something to give Reyna. <clears throat> is the King's Dragon alive? Yes. Yes, it is. We, we took care of it. We almost lost Reyna in the process, but we took care of it. Okay, so this just leads to the castle gate. And as you can see, the Chancellor isn't here. Oh, take care. You actually need to look for the uh, the treasury. So we are going to go ahead and do that really quick. <clears throat> but yeah, so in case people miss that, uh, yeah, this, this week is going to be really busy because I'm going to basically try and set aside enough stuff as I can. Princess Reyna, this cane has been in your family for generations. I'm certain it will be used to you. Be of use to you. Thank you. And it's in the chest. He didn't get it out, but... There you go. You have the monster belt. Well, that's not helpful. Shuriken. And a katana. <clears throat> Basically, what happened was he gave us the item, but it didn't actually show up. He gave us a healing staff. Which should be kind of helpful for a white mage or a healing class of some kind. So, we now have that. And just because... I'm the lookout! <laughs> D E. All right, now we are done in Tycoon Castle, so we are going to go ahead and move forward in the story. And this is just kind of double-checking on the inventory. And there you go, Healing Staff. So, like I said before, uh, so things are going to get kind of hectic here. I don't know how the live streams or the other things are going to be affected, but I will keep you guys up to date as much as I can. Uh, my baby girl is being born this week, or at least this is the due date, so... Obviously, I will get as much done, but if I start screaming in Twitter, BABY, then you know why something isn't going on. So, but I can I can promise you that Geek News will not stop. Um, we've already worked that out, and there is an episode this uh, uh, upcoming weekend. Whether or not I can make it, I don't know. So you guys can look forward to at least that. Uh, but in the meantime, so... This is basically what we have to do to move forward in the story. You go to the Walls Meteor... <clears throat> And inside, believe it or not, is a connection to the Karnak Meteor. Woo! Parts! I must have warped somewhere, baby. Let's go after him! What's stopping Galoof? I think I've been here before. And that soldier in the tower remembered me. Who in the blazes am I, baby? Only one way to find out. Teleport. <clears throat> so this is actually going to send us all the way to the Karnak area. So now we can actually go to the Karnak Meteor, and also to the fi uh, the home or the resting place of the fire crystal. And there you go. Now we just need to walk our way out, and that's awesome. I also apologize if my audio sounds a little weird. So I migrated over to Windows 10, and it seems to have done something really funky with my mic. Um, and I will double check the audio as and listen to this, but... Uh, if my audio sounds a little weird, that's why, and I am working on a solution, and I'm actively checking forums, so it may take a little bit to get actually fixed. But in the meantime, so, uh, while we're making our way to Karnak, let me go ahead and go into some games that I have been able to play over the last week. I finally completed Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2, and I completed the main story as well as the Revelations DLC that came with it, so... Kind of final thoughts on it. Um, I still like the first Lords of Shadow better. Like, if I were to rank them, I would literally rank them as Lords of Shadow, Mirror of Fate, Lords of Shadow 2. And I know that sounds kind of mean, but Lords of Shadow 2, I'm not saying it was bad, but it, it definitely was a more grim and gruesome game. And I think the tone kind of bit. Because you got to see the redemption of Gabriel Belmont. And, you know, because one of the things that people were wondering was, you know, you are coming in playing the bad guy. 
in in this game. You are playing Dracula. And people were like, okay, but we don't, we want Gabriel, you know, we want, we want to play as Gabriel Belmont. Well, you got to play as him because Dracula does get to redeem himself in the end, does get to have his final confrontation with uh, people or our old enemies and also get kind of supposedly the rest that he, that he deserves. Um, but we also get some continuing story with uh Alucard from Mirror of Fate. So if people don't know who Alucard is, he is this universe's Trevor Belmont. And we get a really good story between them. Basically a plot to actually bring uh, Satan and Zobek out of hiding and a way for, for them to be taken care of forever. And I love that whole prospect, uh, especially since it was literally rigged that Dracula would lose his power and that he would not remember setting this up at all. And the fact that we actually have this kind of rush forward into a, a cutscene that's really kind of brilliant in the dialogue worked for me in so many levels. It was so great. Uh, now, I actually did take a grinding break in between now uh, in the recording. And now let's go ahead and mess around in Karnak. But basically, here's what happens. Let's go ahead and buy some weapons. Buy, buy a weapon. Hey, you! Freeze! That's him! Huh? You're the one of those monsters! Don't try and deny it! We saw you crawl out of the crater! So now we're being hauled off to jail. So sad. So unfortunately, not a whole lot you can do in jail. So let me just go ahead and continue. Um, I love the way that they they, read, they wrapped up Gabriel's story um, and gave him kind of the redemption that I, I think that character deserved. Uh, the other thing I also did like was the Revelations DLC where we got to see the events in between where Alucard had to help his father get his abilities back into their resting places and also... Oh, what's this? Boom! Hi. Aw! Oh. <clears throat> Used up the last of my gunpowder just to bust into another cell. Yes, you did. Feel bad, but they're laughing at him. Think that's funny? Yeah, yeah, I do actually. Well, I guess I deserve it. I'm Sid. Huh? The same Sid who built the crystal amplifier? There's a Sid in every game, guys. From here on. In fact, I've heard in 15 that Sid's a girl. So I'm sorry. No, you're right. It's all my fault. A book in the Library of Ancients said that long ago, crystals had... Oh, sorry. Come on. Crystals had more power. So I studied the crystals of Tycoon, Walls, and Karnak. And made a machine that would enhance their power. Okay. But increasing their power only caused them to shatter. Good on you, dude. Oh, it's all my vault. But why are you here? I was too late for the first two, so I wanted to save the third. But when I tried to stop the machine, they threw me in here. It's the same for us. You came to protect the crystal? Well, duh. This asked me to. An inanimate object asked you to do that? Maybe you need to be in here. A crystal shard. Just who are you? Oh my lord, Professor Sid! What? 
You were right. I was wrong. The crystal's cracking. The what? I stopped the machine, but the crystal's power only increased. The fire ship. The witch. It may be the fire ship that's draining the crystal's the crystal's power. Please, Professor Sid, help us. You're our only hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, leverage. I'll need their help. I can't. They were seen coming after the meteorite. They're in with Werewolf. Who's Werewolf? Then I guess I can't help you. All right, anything you say. Will you help me? Of course. I'll go on ahead to the fire ship. It's very dangerous there. You get ready and meet me there. I'll be waiting. Yay, we befriended a Sid. That's awesome, I guess. So, now we get a, a little bit of a chance to explore Karnak Castle. So let me go ahead and just kind of finish my thoughts here on uh, Revelations. I do love the story of it where basically Alucard has to help his dormant father regain his abilities by putting them back in their resting places and all that. So, I like that idea. I also like that he had to acquire a disguise so that nobody would recognize him. And overall, yeah, I think Lords of Shadow 2 and... Actually, you know what? I, I'm, I'm going to change my vote here. The original Lords of Shadow would probably be number one and then Lords of Shadow 2. Because Mirror of Fate, even though a lot of big twists happened, the story was not that engaging as it was in Lords of Shadow 2. So I'd probably rate it higher. Werewolf! Don't let him in! But yeah, that, that would be where I stand on it. Um, ooh, okay, so apparently you use bombs and scares a werewolf. We scared him off using some of Professor Sid's gunpowder. Well, you guys use it better than he does. But he'll be back. You can count on it. Nice. Okay, so, first of all, we gotta go and equip. Because Karnak actually does have some good items, and we want to be able to have them. Um, and in case you guys did not know the classes that I was running, now you can see them. So, I have Bartz as a Sorcerer, I have Galath as a Summoner, and I still have Reyna and Faris running as a White Mage and a Monk. I could technically change them, but the Monk is still kind of a, a powerful class, so... Nope, not happening. But yeah, that's my that's kind of my final thoughts on Lords of Shadow 2. I'm excited with what I'm going to move to next because I don't know how many times people have asked me to get into this and it's been a while, but it's time for me to get into Borderlands 2. I have acquired a Game of the Year edition, so I have all the DLC and I'm excited to, to pick that up and give you guys my opinions on it, but I also have tons of other games that I need to get to, so we will we'll get to them in due course. And I'm also excited for today because I'm actually getting ready to do a live stream pretty soon of King's Quest, A Night to Remember. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because ever since the uh, the remake had gotten announced, uh, it's been awesome. So I, I've been totally excited. And now that it's out, uh, I have a season, a season pass for it. And so we're going to open it up. Now, I know that that doesn't mean you guys can, in, can be involved in the multiplayer, but, you know, I did want to actually be able to do new games and things like that. We did Tembo last week with lots of problems, but we did Tembo. And that is not also not a multiplayer game. So, I mean, leave me your opinions, guys, on whether or not you want to see more uh, multiplayer-driven stuff, or if you'd like to just see some single-player. Because I'd be I'd be happy to to give kind of like first thoughts on a game that just barely came out. Uh, that's what I tried to do with Splatoon, but I was about a week late. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually looking forward to seeing you guys in a little bit as we take on King's Quest: A Night to Remember. The, the granddaddy of all point-and-click adventure games is here. And now we get to have some fun with it. And I am absolutely excited, because now we actually might have a coherent story with it. 
King's Quest is not really known for a coherent story. You, you can't really argue that. And I'm just making sure that I have all my magic. But I think that's going to go ahead and do it for this week. So, well, for last week. But when I get back, um, we will be going into the fire ship to take care of the fire crystal. And I will see you guys in a little bit for King's Quest, A Night to Remember.